Hello, everyone. This is Doug Davis, broker in charge at Karanbi Realty, and here for another session of Ask Doug. And this one's for property management, and it's how quickly can you rent my property? Are there tricks to it? Well, yes, there are. And let me just go over some bullet points here on some of the concepts that um, can answer this question. So um, here are the things you need. Um, well, number one, you, you wanna know how quickly, well, do you have it priced correctly? And that's truly very important. If, it's, uh, if you're asking too much, then it's gonna take a long time. But if you have it priced right, and you do the proper advertising and you respond to people and get the doors open and do the, uh, the vetting, their uh, credit checks and all that sort of thing quickly, then you can have it done quickly. Um, and, and how much time is that? Well, um, well, yes, there is kind of a trick to it. And we found that uh, in our book of business, that you need about 60 days advanced advertising to um, get the tenant to coordinate with the tenant moving out so that you don't have a vacancy. So 60 days ahead of time seems to be what uh, folks, at least here in Hawaii, uh, take to cycle from their past rental to go into a new rental. So they're getting prepared to move and they start looking, they find it, uh, they sign the lease and, and they start to do the move. And yes, somewhat risky in case there's a holdover or delay on the other tenants, but um, we, we've not found that. People uh, truly move out and the new people move in. So again, it must be priced right uh, to get the property moved. Um, and then there's this lead, lead time. And then there's another little trick, and that's in your rental agreement. You need to make it very clear, so you need to put this in writing, that the tenant on a lease, let's say that it ends on August 31st, you want them to tell you 60 days ahead of time that they intend to move out or or renew, but you need to know 60 days ahead of time so that you can start that 60 day cycle of advertising ahead of time. So we put in that tenant must notify uh, 60 days uh, before the end of the lease, or they will be responsible for the vacancy moving forward. So that's pretty harsh, but uh, that makes sure that we get the uh, proper notice and and um, we don't have the vacancy or unlikely to have the vacancy because we've had two months to do the advertising for the property. So um, that's a little bit about how quickly can you rent the property. So if you have those things built into your system, then you should be able to not have the vacancy um, between the rentals. You know, a week or two between uh, rentals is not a bad thing though, because there's usually things that need to be maintained or painted or recarpeted or other upgrades. And you need some downtime uh, to be able to do that prior to people moving in. So uh, that just be a normal process. Um, very hard to paint a place when people are living there and they have their pictures on the wall and that sort of thing. So there you have it. Uh, there's just some ideas on uh, renting a property smoothly. Uh, and thank you for this. And should you have any uh, real estate needs, buying, selling, uh, property management needs, uh, home estate, you know, vacant home management. We do all of that and we'd love to hear from you. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. All right. Thanks so much. Till next week.